Hello everybody, today we're looking at sets and Venn diagrams. Let's start by talking about what a set is. So a set is a group of objects. We call the objects in a set elements. Here we've got an example. A is a set minus 6, 2, 3 and 35. As I say, the minus 6 is an element of uh, the set A. Uh, and so all of these numbers are elements of the set A. I've got another set here, B, 10, 20, 30, 40. Again, these are just elements of the set B. Here I've got a different type of set. The set P is a set of prime numbers, which is a set 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, and it goes on and on and on because there are an infinite number of prime numbers. We can describe a set either with the curly brackets and a description, or curly brackets and a list of the elements inside the set. We can write it either way. Another set here is the colours of the rainbow, set C, which is red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. And here I've got the set V of the set vowels of the vowels, A, E, I, O, U. All of these are sets, and notice that uh, sets don't necessarily have to be, uh, be lists of numbers, they could be lists of anything. I've got another set, uh, example here for you to try. So this is a bit like an exam. Uh, and this, uh, firstly we describe the universal set. When we talk about the universal set, it's the set of all the things we're interested in. So here, uh, the universal set is given by this symbol here, the fancy E symbol. And it's all numbers between 1 and 15. The set A are the even numbers, and the set B are the numbers less than 10. As I say, we're only interested in numbers between 1 and 15, so when we say the set of even numbers, it's the even numbers that are less than 15, between 1 and 15. So we can write the, two, the three sets out like this. We write out the universal set, all numbers between 1 and 15, the set of even numbers 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. We stop at 14 because we've went any further, 16 will be outside of the universal set. And so we're not interested in numbers outside the universal set. And again, set B and the numbers 1 to 9. Always a good idea to write out the full uh, sets when you've got an exam question like this. Okay, we're going to start by drawing a Venn diagram. And the first thing we do is draw a universal set, which we normally draw as a big rectangle here. And we label that rectangle with this uh, squiggly E symbol. Then, because we've got two sets inside of the universal set, we draw two circles to represent those. If an element is in both sets, we write it where the two circles cross over. If the set uh, element is only in one of the sets, we just write it in the uh, separate part of the circle. And if an element is in neither set, we write it on the outside of both circles inside the universal set. So let's see that in action. We start with uh, 1 and 1 is just in uh, the set B. So we just put it outside of A, inside of B. 2 is in both, because it's even number and between 1 and 9. And so we just put the uh, elements in order uh, where they belong. Like this. Okay. Set 9, that uh, element 9 is the last one just in B. All the other even numbers uh, go in... Uh, just A. And now we've done both a set A and B, uh, put them in the right places. Now we can put the elements 11, 13 and 15. These are the only remaining elements that are not in either set, and they go in the universal set on the outside. Okay, just take a moment to look at where the elements are. You can see that the elements in the middle, 2, 4, 6 and 8, are all in the universal set, and uh, 4, 2, 4, 6 and 8 are in A and B as well. 10, 12 and 14 are only in A. 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9 are only in B. And then 11, 13 and 15 are in neither A or B, but are in the universal set, so we do need to include them on the outside. Okay, now let's look at this uh, more uh, carefully. I've highlighted this in green and I've uh, spread this out a little bit for you to see. We can describe different, uh, these different sections using set notation. 
So for example, firstly we can describe set A, that is everything in the circle A. But we can also describe everything outside of A. And we call that A complement. So A with a small c, uh, floating c, means A complement, and that th means things outside of A. Similarly, set B is uh, everything inside the B circle here. But everything outside of B is called B complement. You might also see this written as B dash, like this. That means complement as well. Now we can talk about a union B. The union symbol is just a big capital U. A union B means everything in A, everything in B, and everything in both of them. So everything in just A, everything in just B, and everything in the overlap between A and B. Then we can talk about the intersection. I think of it as an upside down N, which reminds me of the second letter of intersection. It's where the two uh, sets overlap. That's what intersection means. It means the overlap. So A intersection B is where the sets A and B overlap. It's all the elements that are in A and B at the same time. Okay, so let's try and uh, put these elements into these sets here. A complement, A union B, A intersection B, A complement intersection B, A union B complement. So to find B complement, let's highlight B first, and then we're looking for B complement, so it's everything outside of that, which is this green part here. So we're going to uh, uh, choose all the elements outside of B, which are 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Okay, now A union B, let's look at that now. That's uh, everything in A, everything in B, and everything in the overlap, like this. That's A union B, which includes all of those elements which we can write as a list like that. Now A intersection B, that's everything in the overlap of A and B, which is this green part here, which is 2, 4, 6, and 8. Okay. Now, A complement intersection B. This is a bit more complicated. So let's first look at A complement. A complement is everything outside of A, which I've highlighted in yellow here. Now, let's highlight B. So B is everything in the stripy circle here. We're interested in the intersection between these two sets. The intersection of A complement and the intersection and B. That is where these two sets overlap. Where do these two sets overlap? Well, it's where the stripy part is also yellow. So, I've highlighted that in green here. That is the intersection of A complement and B. I'm just going to explain that one more time for you. So firstly, we highlight A complement. Then, we highlight in a different colour, B. And we're looking at the intersection of them, that's where they overlap. So we're looking at the part of the Venn diagram that is both A complement and B. And that is this green part here, 1, 3, 5, and 7, and 9. That can be tri quite tricky when you're first trying this. So you might want to re-watch this video so you definitely understand how I got these numbers here from A complement intersection B. Now let's do A union B complement. So let's highlight A union B for a start. That's this yellow part here. But because it's in brackets with a complement, we want the opposite of this. And so we highlight everything outside of that. And that's this green part here. 11, 13 and 15. Okay. So we list those 11, 13 and 15. Okay. You might want to rewatch that section of the video because that can be quite tricky, especially when you're just starting with sets and Venn diagrams. Now there's uh, just one or two more things I'd like to show you. Uh, we've got this symbol here, N, where N represents the uh, number of elements in a set. So N of B dash means a number of num elements in B dash. The number uh, in A intersection B is a number of elements in 2, 4, 6, and 8. Uh, so we can count up those numbers. For example, in 
the, the number in B complement are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. There are 6 elements in B complement, therefore the answer is 6. Similarly, the number of elements in A intersection B are the number of elements in 2, 4, 6 and 8. There are 4 elements in that set, so the answer is 4. Okay. Now finally, I have uh, one more thing to show you here. The idea of subsets. So here I've added another set. This is the set C. And C is the set 1, 4 and 5. We can say that C is inside of B. C is entirely inside of B because all elements of C are also inside of B. And so we use this horseshoe symbol here, uh, which says that C is a subset of B. That means C is entirely inside of B. But C is not entirely inside of A because there are some elements, for example 10, which are in A but not in C. And so we use this crossed out horseshoe symbol to say that C is not a subset of A. Now we can say 12 is an element of A, so we use this E symbol here, this curly E symbol. Say that 12 is an element of A, but 12 is not an element of B, so we cro use the crossed out uh, E symbol there to say that 12 is not inside of B. Okay, that is everything I wanted to show you in today's video. So, I've got some practice questions for you to try here. I'd like to start by drawing a Venn diagram for these sets. The universal set of letters here where S is A, D, V, N, C, E, and T, the set T is M, A, T, H, S. Put these elements inside a Venn diagram, draw it carefully, and uh, remember to write the elements of both inside the overlap. Then I write, you, write down all the elements in these sets, so C complement, S complement, S union T, S intersection T, S complement, union T. Then finally, I'd like to answer true or false to these uh, questions here. Uh, so A, D and X belongs to S. T belongs to capital T. And the number of elements in the universal set is 12. Is that true or false? Okay, so pause the video. As I say, take your time. Should take about uh, three or four minutes to complete that. And when you're ready, you can see the answers in three, two, one. Okay, so how did you do? Did you get this right? Please let me know in the comments. I'd love to know your, uh, how you did. But thank you for watching uh, this week's video from Advanced Maths. We have far more videos coming every week, so make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. If you have a request for a future video, please let me know in the comments. But again, just thanks for watching and good luck in your exams.